marinated butternut squash. Butternut squash is a great vegetable. Uh, it has nourishment, but it has flavor, and it has resiliency. So we're gonna marinate it in agrodolce. So an agrodolce sauce is agro, which means sour, vinegar. And here I have wine vinegar, some sugar. That's the dolce part. Just a little bit of salt. And we let that cook and reduce. So now let's approach the butternut squash. This is a nice size. And this will give you enough bowl full. Let's just cut off the ends, just like that. Then you peel it just like you do a potato. And sometimes if you still see the white, go twice over it. Could you do this with any other squash? Of course you could. But you know, butternut squash is readily available. It is inexpensive when in season. And it's good, I love it. Okay. And get cut it right down the middle like that. And it's not an easy cut. So get yourself uh, a nice sharp knife. Okay. There we go. We want to get rid of the seeds with the spoon. You just scrape it right out. Okay, that's one. And now we cut it. So as you can see, I have some already cut because, you know, for the sake of time, but you just go on and cutting it like that. Not too thin because you want some meatiness to it, and you continue to cut just like that. Let's fry the squash now, vegetable oil. You know, I tell you all the time, olive oil is no good for frying. So. Okay. You know, and a problem of frying is always the squirting part, so kind of Lay it, not towards you, but away from you, kind of. Okay, we'll let that fry. Antipasto is always that one go-to combination that Italians always have on the menu. When somebody unexpected comes, you pull out some of the uh, cold cuts, you pull out the cheese, and of course, there's all those marinated vegetables, whether it's artichokes or roasted pepper, olives, and you make this great presentation. It's a delicious meal, but not so bad when you're by yourself either. You open the refrigerator, steal a little cheese, a little bit of those olives, a glass of wine, and you're fine. All right, so I'm cooking this nice and colorful. Okay, so this is already tender. Okay. I'm looking at the marinade. And that has reduced substantially, so I'm gonna shut that off and put the rest of the, the squash right in here. Okay. I'm going to slice some garlic and I'm going to just add it to the marinade so it will release its flavor. Okay, I think that's enough. Let me just throw it right into the marinade. Okay, I'm gonna finish frying these off and then we'll be done. We'll layer them and marinate them. Masterclass, agrodolce. Agrodolce is a sweet and sour sauce that balances the bright acidity of vinegar and the sweetness of the sugars. Switch up the sweet. Use honey, brown sugar instead of regular sugar. Play with the sour part. Use any kind of vinegar. Even lemon juice will do. The sauce can be used both with proteins and vegetables. Just make sure to harmonize the flavors. So I finish frying the squash. I'm going to pat it a little bit to get all that extra oil off. Okay, let's salt it. You know that when you fry something and it's still warm, 
If you salt it at that point, it will take in the salt as well, so that kind of it balances. The marinade has come to room temperature. A nice vessel like that, a nice round vessel that you can bring to the table is always nice. So let's begin to, and I'm gonna make the rounds here and ultimately put the marinade on top. So here we are. Okay. So uh, at this point, maybe I'll just put a little bit of fresh herbs here and there. Again, as it's warm, it's gonna absorb in the flavor. Let's make another. Okay. You know that the basil, or your fresh herbs, will turn because it's warm, because it's the acid, but it will give all its flavor to the uh, squash. So then, when you're ready to serve it, you can remove that and put some fresh herbs. Let me put a little bit of the marinade and the garlic. And again, the garlic, it's in here, but you can remove it. Okay. Let's do some more of the herbs. And yes, we can put all of this, all of the marinade, because the squash will absorb it. And this is ready to just be set in the refrigerator. Or you can even, if you're gonna use it in an hour or two, and I like it at room temperature, you can leave it out. But if you're gonna use it tomorrow, just put some plastic wrap over it, nice and tight, and bring it to the refrigerator. In one hour, it should already have absorbed some of the flavors, but overnight it will be even better. It should be nice and tangy and delicious. Mm, mm, mm. I'm looking at the basil. You remember I told you that the basil might be a little bit wilted, and some of it is, so I'll remove that. And before you serve it, you could add some fresh basil, just like that. So I'm going to taste a little bit because I need to taste and need to tell you. Just a little bit like that. A little bit of marinade, absolutely. And maybe I would just do something like that. So this one would be great for the table, and this one will be great for Lydia. So let me, you see, it's, it's so simple. Mm. Really good, delicious. I didn't overcook the squash. It kind of has that little crunch. It's cooked, but it has a little bit just on the edge. I love that. I love the caramelization, and I love the sweet, but I love the sour because the squash is sweet in itself. Barbecue, grilling, whatever, big party, this is the dish. <laughs>